Hello and welcome to my studio in Cornwall. My name is Claire Bowen and I thought I'd show you my favourite pochard that I use for plein air painting. It's called an Open Box M. Here it is here. There we go, you can see it's quite used. It's about six years old this one and I wanted to show you today why I love it and also how to set it up. I thought it might be handy. So, this is my tripod and it's like uh, any photographer's tripod. You just need to get a plate that fits on the bottom here. So that one goes to that. It's called a quick release plate. Is that right? Yeah, good. And I'm gonna just attach it in. Hopefully you can see that. So, there we go. And it clicks in very satisfyingly. It's a big one, um, and so it's really quite stable. Oh, the quick release plate is a big one, but I'll come to that another time. So, um, you open it up, and these are the wing nuts that you need to push out and do up. This is what gives the stability especially in the wind, um, easy to do, you just tighten them up. And the same for the other side, open, pull it out as far as it will go. There we go. All right, so that's quite secure now. Um, I quite like these tables, um, one little side table. One comes with the actual posher, but I bought another one because I like them. They're really useful. Um, they slot in, if you can come and have a look at this, there's a little um, hangy down bit there um, and it, it screws in and out. So you open it out as much as you can, same for him, and then you slot him in. Make sure it's the right, right way around. Opa, come on then. In. And there. Okay, and then you do them up obviously underneath. And the same for the other side. Um, just do that now it gives you an idea there that's 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 it set up um, so, so yes I wanted to show you um, just a little bit more information on what I do for my plein air setup uh, this side is for my brushes as you can see it's got a, a jobby there husband made that for me um, it's an attachment on it um, and it then rest the brushes in there, it's very useful, I'll show you. There, and they're, they're more stable, especially in the wind. Um, the other side, I use a, uh, this is my kind of equivalent of a rag, and it's for cleaning off the brush um, between colors or you know excess paints, and that's quite useful as well. Um, it does make it quite wide, but it's, it, I do really like this part as well. And um, this one is, this comes with it, brass hook. That's for my solvent and it hangs on there. And um, this bit I think is the most useful thing I find about the Open Box M because it has, I don't know if you can see, it has quite a good um, depth here. And um, it means that I can keep my paints, my wet paints, paint when I'm out on plein air, I don't have to take it all off. Um, and that's really helpful because I can just shut the lid and it doesn't then go everywhere, it stays in there. And then I can use it when I get home. So the way I use it is, let me show you. Oh, not easy. There we are. Now this is a, it's called, uh, what's it called? Something light. Glaze light, got it, got it. Don't stop that camera. <laughs> Glaze light. And it is, um, I got it from a hardware shop. Our one's called b and I'm gonna put the link um, to all of the things that I'm showing you on uh, this post. Um, so you can link through, um, click through and find anything you like. So I hope that's helpful. Um, so yes, yeah, so I, I use these because I can put them in there for the, for the paint at home. I can take them out if I've still got paint on there and then I can put it on my pochard and use the paint if I haven't finished my painting. It's really helpful. 
um, and say that I wanted to do that, I could do that and then have a spare one, which I have, and then I could paint in the afternoon with different, you know, a different palette and I keep this one ready for the other painting. I hope that's clear enough. I'm wittering a little, <laughs> but I'm excited to show you. So, How do you keep the paint fresh on that? Um, well, in there it keeps fairly fresh because it's, you know, it's closed over. Some people put them in the freezer. I don't have the facility of that at the moment, but I just keep them out and I can still use it the next day. So it's not too bad. You don't wrap it in cling? I don't wrap it in cling, no. It's not so good for the environment and it goes all over the cling. So I just leave it open. Uh, I just wanted to show you that as well. It is called a Plastic Scriber 2. And it's, I found it's a really excellent tool for cutting this stuff. Um, so I cut that to size um, and that's really useful. So I'll put that on the link as well. Um, so is there anything else that I wanted to say why I love this? I know why. Um, so this is my plein air bag um, and I find it really, really helpful that this fits in. So if this is an, I don't know if I've told you, it's an 11 by 14 and um, size pochard box. And it fits so perfectly in this bag. It, this is actually a computer bag um, and it fits in here really nicely with my um, boards. So, because it's not too deep, because some are, are deeper than this, the, um, the actual, posh art here is, is quite good when it shuts down it's not too deep so it fits in and it's not that heavy either and another thing I should have shown you how to attach a board or canvas onto the posh art. so let me get one and then I can put it on so I'm just gonna get one of my dry paintings just to um, show it to you oh what size is that <laughs> Hang on, I'll just measure it quickly. So 14, 12 by 14, that one. So this being a, a, an 11 by 14 um, pochard, you know, you can see kind of then where it is on the sizing. And so the way you do it is these things, these arms that stick out. Can you see that? Do you want to go to the side and just get an idea of how much they stick out? And they're also at a slightly different level as well in height. So. At the back, there's these wing nuts that you undo. And then if you go around the front, they move. You see that, go around the front. So then you just measure it up to it and you go slightly in to what the actual board is. And then you tighten it up at the back, tighten the wing nut. This one is sp sprung, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and it allows that's what kind of grips hold of it so there we go in nice and it's it's very secure um, and you can have it you know whatever height you want it there so um, it goes out to now I should have looked at this before but I think it's 50 centimeters um, I could just measure that for you and just tell you Yes, because once it's pulled out, yeah, it is 50 centimetres wide, it goes out. Or in inches, that is 20 inches approximately. Um, and of course, you can have it any height um, at all. So, you know, um, even something ridiculous for this, you could even have that on it, you know, and it would work. It's just a little bit heavy, that's all. I also wanted to show you the different sizes that I have. Um, I know that they've got more as well, but um, how cute is that one? Eight by 10, that one is. Um, yeah, haven't used it, as you can see. I, was gonna, I, was, um, I bought it for traveling and I haven't done it yet. And then, oopa. And then this one is a, um, a 12 by 16, and I actually find this one quite useful as well. It's, um, especially for large works and canvases so it has a a bigger thing on there you can change that for holding a board or a canvas and it goes up and down so it's a little bit more to it that one and it has a little kind of lock to hold it yeah all good let me put him down 
So it would be lovely to hear your feedback on your pochards, what you, know, what you find good about yours. I hope that you found this helpful um, with, with me explaining my setup and I'd love to um, hear from you. And if you like this video, do subscribe to my channel, like it and share it. Thanks so much. See you next time.